Again, a classic AOR track, House of Lords, Remember My Name. And joining me now, we have former House of Lords frontman, James Christian, and uh, also Chuck, who I'm sure you remember as well. So welcome to London. I think this is the, for the first time with your new project, isn't it? How are things Very going? Good. It's going great. Uh, we're having a great time here. We yeah. spent a couple of days seeing the sights in England, and uh, we're we ready to... We got sleeping, mind you. <laughs> we haven't slept yet, so hey, that's a way to do it. You fly in from L.A. and you just stay awake. Rock and roll. That's right. So uh, if we can backtrack a little bit, um, why could you give us kind of a bit straight for the record, why House of Lords split up? Why do I have what to be question. the one to do this? <laughs> Is there a uh, short answer? <laughs> musical differences, I guess yeah. we'll put it that way. Yeah. Uh, musical differences with one person. Right. And um, the four of us seem to be going in a different direction. So. Right. Yeah. I think we know who that person is, don't who we? Who could it possibly be? I mean, could be Gene Simmons. No, well, it's not. But it's not. It's not Gene Simmons. It's a guy with this long... Well, he used to have long hair. Now he's got real short hair! We'll just anyway. say GG and yeah, be done GG. with it. Okay, um, so also with, I know there's a House of Lords reunion coming up, right. but uh, you, you, you're not able to give us too many details. Um, we have a, we're going to start doing a record in May. Yeah, uh, it's finalized. And, um, we're not sure if it's going to be House of Lords just, just yet, uh, uh, for the name, rather. Mm -hmm. um, we have a few legal problems we have to settle first. Right. But uh, there'll definitely be a record. Good. Okay. Well, um, if we could talk a little bit about what you're doing now. Um, you've got this uh, Rude Awakening album out, and um, it kind of... Uh, it's very, very personal lyrics on that. Um, I was wondering if writing it was uh, by way of an exorcism to get out a lot of feelings and emotions. Absolutely. Uh, there's been a lot. <laughs> you got it, hit it right on the head. Uh, the lyrics are basically a, a lot about what's happened in the last three or four years of my life. Mm -hmm. And um, being personal was the best way I knew how to express myself with what we were mm -hmm. doing. Um, the songs are basically about everything that's happened. And, uh, you're waiting to get somebody out of your life, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Just get it off your chest, out yeah, of my life, absolutely. it's over. Yeah. Hey. It's better when you put it on paper. It means more to me anyway. Yeah. And, uh, I was going to say, does it help you to actually um, understand it and keep things in perspective? Actually, what it does is once it's done and it's finished, I can move on with the next portion of my life, That's you true. know? So it's, it's, it's on record and, and it's filed away. So it's going to be quite an em emotional experience then playing these songs, isn't it? Definitely is. <laughs> We're leaving him on his own tonight. Too. <laughs> they're leaving we're the leaving. stage and leaving me do three, three or he's four songs. Do all on of those own. emotional songs all by himself, Aww. and we're gonna cry in the background. Aww. Well, well I hope you guys do what you're doing. At rehearsal, we're, 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 we're back. We're going. Wow! Good, James. <laughs> well, let's tell us a little bit about the band that you've got together for this show in London. Chuck Wright. Chuck Wright. And Lanny Cordola Wright. somewhere in the uh, somewhere in the building. Lanny yeah, is at here. at the bar right now. And. We didn't have time to put the whole band together, like do a, a full blown on live show, so we're doing an acoustic set. And we've had about two or three rehearsals, and yeah. we're ready. We don't want to over rehearse, you know? Mm -hmm. It's going to be diverse, though. It's, yeah. uh, we're going to be doing some Eastern music with Moroccan uh, backing tracks of percussion, and then we're going to do some blues, and then he'll do his little tear jerker thing in the middle. <laughs> and, then, and we'll do Camp on My Way Home and uh, a bunch of uh, medleys of our favorite bands. Sounds great fun. Yeah. So um, I'm just wondering, uh, is this timing of the release of Rude Awakening, is that in any way significant in terms of your feelings about how this music is now being perceived in 95? Um, we're here in England or around the world? Just generally around the world or Europe? No, I, I think that um, the timing was right for that record to come out when it came out. Mm. And whatever is happening in the world, I mean, let it be, you know. Yeah. I, I'm going to do what I have to do Good. and be happy with it. Good. Good. Good to have that attitude. Definitely. I mean, it's the only way to be. If I change to uh, accommodate the music, the tribe, yeah? you know, yeah, exactly. you know, you've got to come from in here completely. Definitely. And you obviously did on this album. <laughs> well, thanks to you guys for joining me here in London. It's great to have you in town. And uh, right now we're going to take you down to the Astoria 2 in London once again. And we're going to show you Mr. James Christian and his band live on stage. And uh, we'll have to wait and see if there are any surprises in the little excerpt we're going to show you. And uh, then we're going to our next short break. And after that, I'll be interviewing Ted Poley and Bone Machine. So stick around for more AOR and melodic rock sounds. But right now, James Christian and his band live on stage. You Oh. 
Cause love should 